now with is your six covered and the X ring Heck right yeah. in the back. So you can see who your favorite is here. <laughs> <laughs> so heading out to the range, we're gonna have some fun today. Lots shoot, of fun. Shooting six creed more, six five creed more, six arc, you name it. Just came from Vegas. Las Vegas in the bed. Meet you guys out there. Arizona, buddy. Uh -oh. oh yeah, is there right? Got the X-ring on the six arc AR. Ready. All right. Get ready. Okay. That's it. Five tenths? Yep, half a mil at 986. So I think Kenny's really done a good job with the six arc. Uh, we just went first shot impact at 500. And then we had one right at seven. We're shooting the Hornady Black. Haven't even uh, been able to work up a load. It's on a 22 inch uh, custom chamber by Kenneth E. And this is, I plan on shooting a six arc in the next two uh, long range matches, the Sniper's Unknown, as well as another match that we've got coming up. So we'll see what happens. Uh, probably at the CD match when Kenny and I are shooting together, the yep. Team Steel Safari. I think I'm gonna shoot a six arc gasser, he'll shoot a six arc bolt gun. But right. yeah, based on what we're seeing here, and guys, we're using smaller targets. At 500 yards, we're shooting a six inch steel. At 700 yards, I think it's an eight inch steel. Mm -hmm. So just a little bit bigger than MOA, but It'll do everything we need it to do for those type of engagements. And the one we just hit at like 986, we were holding 8.6 mils, and uh, that's good enough. I, I, I think thought it's it was a, all about the spotter. Well, the spotter helped as well. I can see the, <laughs> I can see the hits. We got Rick here. We got Rick. And it's very soft shooting. Uh, that's the thing about it. And you've got a high barrel life. You know, there might be other cartridges that say, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And a lot of guys might say the 6.5 Grendel. Well, I like the Grendel. Guys, we're getting out of this 105, we're getting velocities of 2,840 feet per second. So it's pushing it pretty good out of the gasser. Yep. And um, I just like that, uh, I like that six arc. Six I arc. I think it's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, it's a 22 inch barrel on this one. So it does have a custom chamber on this one. Um, it has a shorter free bore, so it's not a SAMI spec chamber. We're able to uh, get some better performance with the Hornady Black ammunition. Again, we're still kind of working up hand loads, um, trying to get the velocity. Uh, you can see there, beautiful looking cartridge. Um, 22 inch barrel, the heaviest contour you could get, uh, superlative arms, gas block system. We'll make it happen. We'll see what we'll do. Take some more shots down range. That's right. All right. Is your six covered? Yeah. Behind the AR. So it's got the, uh, just hit the 500 yard. Yep. Trying to get used to this one. Hot. Yeah. We are in the desert. Everything is hot. Yeah. Anything metal you put but down within a minute. A, even a hot case. 100 and one you said? Huh? 102. 102 degrees out here. 102. Yeah. You nice can you can me. you can hear the wind. So we got some wind. Eight miles an hour. All right. All right. What was the 750 call or the uh, target? Okay, I think that actually hit the post. Yeah, I heard I heard a hit. Yeah. So come up a tenth to four or five. Because wind was spot on. And I saw the target move, but it wasn't the target. Wind's calm. Moving left, right. Just off right edge. We got Rick on the six Creedmoor. Let's try this thing out. A thousand. Yeah, fresh barrel, Just fresh barrel. Ooh, just left edge. All right, so the wind's calmed down here a little bit. Impact, dead center. You can see the bullet trace on this one. Oh yeah, I can see the bullet trace on the six arc one. He was shooting like crazy. Wow. Like easy, easy. He's making this thing look easy on this thousand yard. <laughs> it's a good speed. Should be for a six three. Yep. All right, let's see. You shooting those hand loads or factory? Hand loads. The ones that wouldn't. Be 
Dead on. You gotta try that thing out. The hand loads? Yeah. This is not the one we shot at. That was a 6.5. Yeah, you make, that's too easy, dude. All right. Well, I always loved the MPA, the Chasse. Great rifle. Yeah. Um, the origin action's nice. Getting used to it, 90 degree throw. And uh, what triggers this got in Trigger Tech two stage? Trigger Tech two stage, a special series. I have it set at uh, four ounces on the first stage and 10 ounces on the, uh, the brake. Yeah, it's nice. So this one's a little bit different. Barrel's timed Yeah. like mine, I like that. Yeah, the barrel's, uh, if you look at the muzzle Try brake, the it muzzle is timed a yeah. little bit off. If you guys can see that, that's intentional. And that's to uh, mitigate the twist on the barrel. Yeah, it's fine. Fight. Yeah, this one's a little bit different. I, I usually chamber the six creeds and six and a seven and a half twist. This is a one and seven twist, and uh, we're shooting some burger. Some right here. Okay, there you go. These are burger 109s, so they're kind of a lower charge. I got 40 and a half grains, uh, 4350, so 2990 feet a second. Should save on barrel life. It seems to be pretty damn accurate. What is the speed? 2990 feet a second. Yeah, that's right. With mine, mine's a seven and a half. And I'm running a 115 D tax. Yeah. So, okay. awesome man. Great, another great freaking six Creed more. That's for sure. All right, we're out here at a thousand yards, doing a milk jug challenge, taking the six Arc AR versus the six Creed more. We're gonna try it. We don't know. It. The dope's kind of all over the place. We haven't shot at this distance yet. So we've got nine five dialed in. We'll see what happens. All right. High. Whoa, way high. Like a whole lot. Yeah, I come down to 10. Go 9.8 and see what that does. You know what? I'm going to go 9 because based on what we did before when I was hitting it, yeah. we were at 8.6 then. Right. Let's try that. I wonder if I'm hitting any of this brush in front of me. Uh, I'll watch it. I'll watch the brush. He Here we go. Ready? Yep. Because I can only see this stuff. I don't see anything there. Ooh. Okay, so come up a tenth yeah. or two. I'd say two tenths, yeah. And here we go. Ready? Yep. It's going to be all over it. Oh. Yep, right side. Elevation good? Elevation good, yep. Same spot. Good thing that point one. It's a good thing that thing's painted orange. Yeah. Or seven point one? Yeah, seven point one. All right. Point three left is what it's saying. Oh wait, I didn't need the whole chip. Say seven one and six five creed more data. Yeah. Are you too high? I was high and that there was no win. I was a, I was a whole half mil off. I'm gonna hold dead center. You see it? Yeah, you're right there. I think I you hit it. Scared the shit out of it, at least. I just needed to know if I was high or not. This scope. You'll start seeing black all over that hill. You did. Whoa. That was a bad pull by the way. I'm going it's going right to left now. Yep. I gotta get rid of these stupid ass glasses. Yeah, the whole thing's just jerked jerked up mirage. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go two tenths right, I'm gonna hold Oh, you're good elevation. You're just right edge. Right edge? Yeah. I think I got one more shot, maybe. Yeah. All right, four tenths then. Oh. Did you hit it? All righty. Still in it. I don't know. I I don't know what I did. Yeah, he's still in it. I can't still see it. Still in it. Hit it to win it.
He's right there. He's scared the shit out of me. I am scaring the living piss out of us. My last two with this arc were scaring it, but it's yeah. just. Woo. All right, still in that it. That whole thing is just an orange blur of shit. I can't see yeah, anything. Yeah, it's hard. That's dope. Mm -hmm. It's it's probably just to get set back. That's all awesome, I'm life. Hey, it makes it even. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it does. Ready? Dad. Yep. Dad. Dad. Oh my gosh. Oh, you scared the crap out of it too. Maybe you hit it. I don't know. Oh. Dude, was that a hit? No. Couldn't have been a hit. I'm just kidding. I can't see anything. Just low. It is all over it. All over it. <laughs> this is a good little challenge. Oh. Get that, get huh? Ryan, get one. Here. What do you want to shoot? It's not missing, but more than what? Inches? Inches, yeah. It's holding. It's right. Oh, that's way high. Hmm. All right, hold, hold him dead center again. <sighs> Seen anything? Ah. Uh, I can see it. I just the whole thing is just blurry. All I see is the orange dot out there. Yeah, that's about it. That's about what I see. <laughs> Ooh, man. That was a bigger target. Yeah. Could you tell where I hit that? You know, it looked low. This is kind of hard to see with the tactic cam. On top, one on the right side, just right of it. That hit. So we got two impacts on Jug. I think Rick and Ray both hit it. The question is who hit it first. So we got to review the tactic cam. I can tell you who hit it first. It's gonna be Rick. I think he hit it first. The way the way it drained. I mean, I wasn't really looking down the actual binos. Um, it, there was a dead square, a square hit right on top, and it tore out the back, and then on the right, uh, the left side, someone just skimmed it. He never asked me who hit it first. Okay, who hit it first? The guy that. Hit it. <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> so, uh, you assumed you thought of how I was going to say me. I'm pretty sure you hit it first, dude. I might have, I don't know. Because there was one, so this is what makes it very hard on the milk jug challenge. It, obviously, we don't have any backing. And a lot of guys, they uh, they tend to tear out the bottom, so that's a definite you know, call that you definitely hit the milk jug. But when you hit it on the top, all you get is a puncture and a drain. Well, I was, my plan was just to hit it a little bit so that Ray would have a chance. Right there, you know yeah. what I mean? Like like buttons on a shirt. You yeah. just keep going down one button at a time. Exactly. That's how you, you uh, maximize your target. Job. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to blow up the target right away. Everybody's yeah. got to have you some fun, right? You don't want to hit right? the bottom and be that guy. You want to... Yeah. You want to <laughs> <laughs> you want a shirt button. Yeah, I agree, man. Yeah. If you be that guy, That's take all the glory and everybody just hates it. Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, screw do that. Hey, well, nobody got time for that. We're gonna get out of this uh this heat out here. Get some get some grub. Yeah. Food. Yeah. I need to get fatter. Well, I think we're just kinda heat exhausted already. <laughs> it's hot out here. It's hot as hell out What's here. What's the car say, does it say? No. 104 last time I checked. Gotcha. So it's all right. Time, I'll tell you that much. Great time, yeah. These guys are fantastic shots, by the way. Witnessing it in person. Yeah. No, Rick's a good shot. Six Creed more is uh. It's a great rifle. You did well on that though. Oh, oh, Frank. You're gonna like your rifle, buddy. We got it all ready for you. I think, I think you may lose that on uh, Lake Avenue over here. Boating accident. <laughs> no, that was Frank's. I got I got a Skittles rifle. All right. I already got it. All right. Catch you soon. Yeah, hold on.
Oh, BMW instructor. <laughs> Well, folks, just want to say thank you for joining us on this fun day adventure. We just had an absolute fun time out there in the heat all day, which didn't even phase us. We were just enjoying each other's company. Rick and Ray, huge thank you for coming down all the way from North Carolina, uh, visiting me and here in Arizona. I know the heat was kind of hot, but like I said, I just had a great time. So Ray and Rick are just outstanding people in general. I am very blessed to call them my friends, and they are just extremely talented behind a rifle. Seeing it in person, it was just a shocker. So uh, these guys run a YouTube channel. Uh, Ray runs the X-Ring channel, which is on the far left, and Is Your Six Covered is Rick's channel. You guys got to check them out. Go ahead and sub. Uh, they do a lot of live chats, a lot of information, a lot of informative videos, which will explain how to get into long-range shooting, a lot of techniques, gear reviews, things that you never really see in other channels. So I'll put a link in the description below as well as a pinned comment. Definitely check them out. Like I mentioned, by far one of the best channels out there for any kind of long range shooting, precision shooting, uh, pistol shooting, competition, you name it. These guys are in it on all the uh, aspects of the sport. Um, like I said, a lot of talent, a lot of information, just very knowledgeable people, and they're just outstanding folks in general. Well, like I said, I had a great time with you guys. I uh, really appreciate you guys coming down from North Carolina. And uh, I hope they'll be hanging out with you guys soon out there in the East Coast. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next video.